Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, the banana tree delivery is complete. This is, I ordered a hundred, uh, always, uh, uh, Lito's son is the one that uh, procures these for us. And he always brings uh, 10 or 12, 15 extra. And so there's like 115 or so here. Uh, we'll, uh, the price is 20 pesos each for these. So we're going to get these in the ground. And the uh, Consi's not here today. I think she's doing other things. So uh, when she comes back, hopefully tomorrow, uh, we'll start getting these in the ground. Uh, may pull one guy off the piggery crew to help her with the digging because I'm uh, Consing is a dynamo, but uh, and not to sound sexist, but she is a woman, and uh, even though she's used to doing manual work her whole life, she's not a young woman anymore. And I'm just more comfortable with her not having to use a pick and a shovel at her age when there are young, able bodied men around who could do it uh, for her. So hopefully tomorrow we can start getting these in the ground uh, we've got another row here uh, that was planted uh, there's a couple breaks here right next to the piggery like one could go there one could go there there's like room for four more right here I'd like to complete this row so we'll put some more banana trees in here uh, we're going to do some uh, a bit of cleaning around the chicken pen because it's getting a bit grown up on this side of the fence and we're gonna go through and replace whatever did not survive uh, this long drought that we had and then we're gonna count up and see what we've got left and uh, I'll stick my head together with Maricel and we'll figure out exactly where we're gonna put the remaining there's a few down here we would planted much of this area right in here see if I can get through here without getting all wet or falling these here that were planted are just not doing great uh, and there's many that were planted back in here that just didn't make it at all so any of these uh, that didn't make it we're going to replace and we're going to continue planting them in this direction uh, all this little area right here because the fattening pins are eventually going to come to this tree so along that line right there we're going to put in up to the uh, chicken run fence and all this area right here we're going to put in bananas and so i'm thinking that will uh that will use up most of what we have left Anything else we have, we'll plant up close to the house, around in the garden. And then, when we get all that done, uh, all, this, all this vegetation that you can see be, uh, on the other side of the rice field, but on this side of the plateau, we're going to clear that out and start planting bananas and coffee trees all around that perimeter there all the way up to the access road you can just see the access road right there through the vegetation so all this all this coming back this way and perhaps even all, all around the other side of the plateau uh, eventually we're going to put in bananas and coffee so that's what we're going to do with those banana trees. Uh, this particular supplier we've got can give us, like, sell us, like, a uh, hundred, a hundred plus every couple months. And so that's what we're going to do. And eventually, we'll probably have over a thousand uh, banana trees uh, growing here. And I like it. So... Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.